that's how he dropped the three guys. He just went up in the air and they all went poof. My dad rolled across the barnyard, deer was on his knees. Welcome and thank you for joining us for this trailer loading video. One of the biggest things that misconceptions about horse trailing is that people believe it's about the trailer. And it's not. And in actual fact, it is about discipline and behavior of our horse. If our horse is ill-behaved or has no discipline, then it's not going to do what it's asked, especially if it doesn't feel like it. One of the biggest things that people say, well, what is a well-behaved horse? Well, a well-behaved horse is a horse that stands still when it's asked, moves when it's asked, and does what it's asked without a big explosion of energy or kick, fart, go, or anything like that. One of the things that we really need to work on is getting our horses to relax and want to do what we want them to do. It's a lot more important than can we lope or can we do this or can we do that. It's about having our horses under control. So if discipline is the answer to be all end all for getting horses to do what we want, then how do we get there? Well, it's simple. We start setting up very simple basic rules. One, if I ask, you must do. My job here is not to make my horse do things. My job here is to explain to my horse in a fashion in which he can understand and then to help him succeed in doing it. It is not to go out and get bigger sticks or chains and whips and things to hold my horse. Okay, it is not. All, not all horses learn the exact same way. It is up to me to take, do whatever it is necessary to help that particular horse achieve what needs to be done. It is not about can I put a rope behind his butt and force him onto a trailer. That's not teaching a horse to get onto a horse trailer. That's forcing a horse to get onto a horse trailer. And take that same theory to all the horse training that you may do. Am I making my horse do something, or am I teaching my horse what it is I want him to do? Now, a couple of things you're going to see while we're doing this. One, we're going to get ropes and sticks and whips and, and things open over the horse's head. We're going to be throwing ropes over his back. I want to desensitize this horse to get him to learn that he can relax and calm down with energy and with movement. Two, we're going to start working on, when I say stand still, this is where you stand still and you don't move. Three. We're going to work on when I send you, you go with this amount of energy, depending on the energy that I send you with, and two, you go out and around me. What horses do when they're either afraid or they're trying to give a little bit of dominance, what they're saying is, I'm going to cut right through you. And it's kind of like a bully cutting through your space. What he's trying to do is intimidate you. Well, that's what the horse is trying to do. He's trying to go, I'm bigger. I'm going to intimidate you, so I'm going to cut through your space, which is going to make you take a step back, which is going to make you go away. Well, guess what? That's work with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand there and say, get the heck out. And these are the things that we're going to start to work on. And as we work on these, then we're going to start to introduce the horse to the horse trail. Now, one of the things, I would have done all this prior in normal training before even ever worried about the trailer. But this particular DVD is about trailer loading. So we're going to take this horse and we're going to do these kind of things to get the horse ready to get onto the trailer. Now, you can do this. Right? One of the things is, is my own personal horses, I'm going to take all the time in the world to get things right before I start asking for more. But there's situations where you have to go trailer a horse and this horse is not where it needs to be. Well, this is what this DVD does. This DVD shows you how to get this horse in a timely fashion to where it needs to be so you can get it on and off the trailer safely for both you and the horse. So here we are working with our mare. As you can see, we've got a, a train stick with a rope on the end of it going up and over the head, doing the working on the desensitization. Right now, we're trying to do is get the horse to go off to the right, and all we're doing is causing an energy on that side. It's not actually making contact with the horse at this particular point in time. With this, it's not about that the horse won't move, it's that the horse won't move without an explosive energy. What we want the horse to do is just to do what we ask. Now, when our horse pulls or goes crazy, um, doesn't necessarily mean we stop doing what we're doing. In most cases, what we want to do is we just want to maintain, not increase pressure, but just maintain it. 
and keep that going. Now, as you can see here, we're going to constantly keep stopping her. Now we're going back to do what we're doing, trying to move the horse off to the right. You can see the horse going backwards. We're going to keep that pressure going, keep that pressure going. And as soon as we get one single step, just one, we're going to stop doing what we're doing. We're going to bring her back out again, and we'll do it again. Now, interesting point. You'll notice with this mare that when I move, she just keeps on going. She doesn't stop, she's not paying attention to what I'm doing. So that's one of the things that we're gonna, we have to work on to get this horse to the place where it needs to be so that it can get to that horse trailer. Right now, this horse is, the only way you can get it anywhere or do anything with it is to enable it to kind of carry it, massage it, and kind of push it in the right direction. But it's not doing it because you've asked, it's doing it because you've kind of worked it that way. Um, what we want to do here is we want to ask and just get what we want. Now, right there, we're coming up underneath, pushing her out and away from saying, step out and away. Now, the second thing is, what we're trying to get here going is that she gets out and around us quietly. Just walk, up, run, don't do anything. Now we've got her moving a little bit. We've got some other things going on. We've taken her past the horse trailer, not at the horse trailer, but just past the trailer. Here, and what we're trying to get her to understand is that I am much more, um, interesting than the trailer that sits there does absolutely nothing. So what I'm saying to her is you can go and stand in that spot where I say it's safe to stand and when you do that's when you're going to get the release. So now she's got herself worked up, she's going backwards again, we're maintaining that pressure, maintaining that pressure, we're waiting for her and boom there she goes forward. We're going to stop doing what we're doing and bring her back out. Notice how we take her right back to the horse trailer. Not going to the horse trailer, just past the horse trailer. Say, hey, Pay attention to me. I am not going to let anything hurt you. I am your leader. I am your boss. I'm going to look after you. Notice that the lead is slack. I don't drag in this horse around. If I have to drag that horse around, I'm going to reach behind me, give him a little tap and say, get up here. It's not my job to drag my horse around. My job is to tell the horse what it needs to do and to protect the horse. So, we go back and forth, back and forth, we keep doing this. Now we've cut this video down to about 26 minutes. The actual time from the time we started uh, the trailer loading to the time that we actually had the owner walking the horse on and off the trailer was one hour and I believe it was 21 minutes. So what we've done is we've knocked the, this down to about 30 minutes. And the reason we did is a lot of it's repetition. As you can see, again, here we are, we're asking, so what, what's happening there? She's turning her head, she's trying to avoid um, the pressure that we're asking. Just maintain it. So now what we're saying is she, she's starting to close in our space. Give her that little tap, say, step away. Notice that my feet don't move when, her, when she moves. And that's really important because what we're saying to her is, it's not that I'm hitting you with the stick or tapping you with the stick, but if I can reach you, you should move out. You should need to move away from me. You can see now that she's starting to relax a little and understand that, hey, I'm not such a bad guy, I'm actually kind of fun to be around and she's starting to get some relaxation. It's important, you see where her head is right now, it's way up in the air like a giraffe. Well, here's the scoop, when her head is up in the air like that, she releases adrenaline into her body. When her head comes down and is hanging equal or lower than her withers, she actually really reduces, or releases um, endorphins in her body. It's kind of like a, uh, a woman eating chocolate, just a feel-good situation. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for her to relax, drop her head, and just do what we need to be done. Now, what I've done is I've walked out of the horse trail. The biggest thing that we want to get in our favor is curiosity. If you go and pull the, try and pull this horse out of the horse trail, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Horses a thousand pounds or better, if it wants to be there, it's going to be there. If it doesn't, it's going to leave. It's going to take you with it. So our whole thing here is what we want to say to this horse is, hey, just come up. I've got no tension on the lead at this particular point in time. I just have her standing there. Now, once the horse has stood there for a while, notice that I've still got my alignment. My horse is lined up to the door. Once the horse is there and been there for a little bit, I can hold that pressure on that lead like that and say, I need you to take a step forward, which now, the horse is going back and say, I can't go forward. Hold that pressure on the lead. You're not trying to drag that horse in, you're just holding the pressure on the lead and wait for that horse to take one step forward and then whew, release. Now you'll notice we go right back to the trailer again. This is just back and forth, back and forth. We allow 
total slack on the lead while she's paying attention to the horse trailer. The instant she starts to go and start thinking about other things, or I'm going to eat grass, then it's time to ask for a little bit more. What we're looking for at the door here is relaxation. I need her to stand still, I need her to drop her head, I need her to be curious about the trailer. <coughs> when I get all that, then I'm going to walk her away again. She's like, well, what about the trailer? It is not about the trailer. I'm trying to get across to this horse. And if I'm asking it to do something, then it's safe to do it. She doesn't have to worry about it. Now, you notice that I spend a lot of time, I come up, I rub the horse a lot, I've got my hands all over, I have lots of energy. Walk her away from the trailer there, we might walk her back to the trailer. This is a give and take, give and take. Every time that she gives me something, I can't just keep taking it. So I asked her, when well, she's taking it, as soon as she gives it to me, I'm going to walk her away and say, that's your reward. If there's no rewards, what would you do? Not a lot. It's the exact same thing with the horse. The horse needs to get a reward. The reward isn't an allowance, it's not a pat on the head, it's not a big hug, it's not a kiss on the forehead. It's the release of that pressure. That's the horse's reward, that's what we're looking for. Notice that we're trying to get that bond going, give it the rub, give it the pat. Notice that there's nobody else around this horse that's putting pressure onto it. The owner is off to our left there, that's fine, but I don't want a whole bunch of people around the back end of this horse. That's just going to close her in. If you've got a bunch of people up on watch, that's fine. Tell them to go off to the side, sit down, relax. Now, what's happening here is I picked up the pressure because she stood there, she's been fine. Now I've asked her to take that step forward. Now she's overreacting. I'm going to hold that pressure until she comes forward again. Notice that she came right forward, right relaxed, came right back over and started sniffing the trailer again. You're always going to have these big reactions at some point in time. They happen. Don't get excited. One of the biggest things that we need to do at all times is maintain a calmness. It doesn't mean that we have to be timid. It doesn't mean that we have to tone down our energy. What it means is that we have to have a positive, progressive energy. And what we're saying to the horse is, look to me. If I'm good with it, then you're all right. Relax. Let them take the time. I've never seen a horse yet wear a watch. We wear watches. This is about this horse getting to the point where it wants to get there. Now again, when we're doing this, like I said, well, let her stand there and do her own thing so long as she's paying attention to what we want. That's how we set the time limits. The time limit's not set, well, I let you sniff for five seconds, now I'm going to haul you onto the horse trailer. That's not what we're there for. What we're there for is if she starts to lose their interest and starts to go walk away, well, guess what? I'm going to ask her for that step moment. And you can see that she's still doing this. Why do horses do this, these kinds of things? Well, because it's worked in the past. They do this big reaction and then they go bunker it off. Anyways, we did take a break, gave the horse a break, gave me a break, everybody got something to drink and something to eat. Only about 15 minute break. And then we went right back at it. Now, the horse, this particular horse is not, what I would say, probably had a lot of consistency. Just a beautiful mare with a really sharp uh, rein in her head. She's not done by any stretch of one's imagination. And she's built like a brick shit house. All kinds of power. But she hasn't had the consistency. So when we came back from our break, we went right back to doing all the stuff that we did before. Don't worry about the horse trailer go back to the rope on, desensitization, making that energy positive, making her, you know, do what I ask when I ask. Then we go back to the trailer. Don't just go bop, 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 boom, and right back onto it, okay? Things are gonna happen. The horse is gonna go up, gonna rear. When the horse goes to take back, don't try and pull the horse down. Just maintain that pressure until the horse goes back, 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 and when it finally stops and takes that little step forward, release that pressure, smile like none of that ever happened again, and walk it away, walk it back up. You'll find each and every time that she does this, it has these big blocks. It gets a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, and pretty soon there's nothing going on at all, and you're over it. If you don't deal with it that way, they're going to get bigger, more explosives, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So, 
notice that every time that she's in that door, she has to line up. If she doesn't line up, I'm going to stand at her head and I'm going to take the, our training stick and I'm going to give her a little tap on the button and say, okay, move left or right, whatever it takes to line her up to that door. Because guess what? If she's not lined up to that door, she's not going to get on. And that's important. Here she's not lined up, she does the big pull thing, hold that pressure, there's the release, thank you very much. Notice that I push her right back over, line her right back up to the door, and boom, boom, boom. Now she's starting to close in on me there, so I'm going to bump her back and say, don't come into my space, that's a no-no. That, that's one of the things that you should be doing every single time you're with your horse. You do not come into my space unless I ask. So now she's doing this, I'm going to blow up, you go right ahead, knock your socks up. Here's the scale. How much energy do you think it takes to throw that great big body up in the air like that and to go tear it off backwards? It takes a lot. So here's the idea. Let's use attrition to train our horses. Let's not use this, I'm going to pull you, I'm going to get a bunch of burly guys here to pick you up and put you into the horse trailer. So I'm just going to wear you out a little bit. Just through attrition, not through physical brute force, but just through attrition. I keep taking it back, and I keep having this calmness, and pretty soon it's like trying to get into a fight with somebody. Now, what we did there is I tapped her on the rear end because what she did, she spun around and gave me her butt. No, no. I cannot swing the butt towards me. So, quick, sharp, decisive, boom. Once. It's not a beating session, it's just a one time tap. Get that over. So, we reiterate. I'm in control, you have to move off, we're just putting everything to make sure that there's no uh, uh, fuzzy area, gray area, that's in her mind as to who's in charge and who's doing what. You see that we've, we've asked for something, see how we're not making contact with the horse, we're push, 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 there we go, we're going to ask her to go again, she's having, this is, this is like the, uh, the big blow before the, the calm. On the, the calm before the big storm, but we've had the calm, now we're at the big blow. So she's going over the top, she's got, this didn't work, this didn't work, I'm going to throw everything I got at this guy and see if he'll go away. Well, guess what? He's not going away. And she's starting, she's going to go, look at the head come down, look at her, look at the trailer. She's actually calming down. Don't get all excited that this horse is going to get worse and this isn't working, this isn't working. If you just maintain and keep that calmness, you will get to where you need to get to. You notice that this horse is not cutting that, cutting it off. She's not trying to cut through my space anymore. She's starting to lessen. We're trying to get that disengagement saying, get that butt over. Now she's starting to go. We're going to get that pressure. There's our disengagement. Now, Notice where we're working. We're working right by the trailer, but it's got nothing to do with the trailer at this particular point in time. Right? Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to say, you need to stand right there in front of the door of the trailer. Not in the trailer, but stand at the door in front of the trailer. This is leadership. What I'm saying, if I say that's a safe place to be, then that's a safe place to be, so get your butt over there and let's do this. There's no whipping on the horse here. There's no pulling. Use the lead to stop the forward momentum. I use the energy of the uh, training stick to, to get the horse up. And oh my gosh, look at that. She's now standing there. What am I doing? Giving her a great big rub, nice slack lead. I'm not holding her. Get her to stand there and relax. We can move around. Then we take her back to our trailer. And it's all about take it away, bring it up. Take it away, bring it up. Now, look at her. She's perfectly lined up with the door. She's starting to go, I, ah, my gosh, look at that. This was within minutes of that last big ball of blow. Okay? So now she's checking it out to make sure the darn thing's safe to stand on. So she got her butt going. And she must have did this for about 15 minutes. She'd get her, her front end up there and she would just paw the living daylights out of that trailer for her. No big deal. It doesn't really matter. If she wants to, let her stand there. Notice what we're doing. We're walking her way. Because it's got nothing to do about getting on that trailer. It's got to do with, she gave me what I asked for, which is to take that step forward. I reward her by walking her away. All right? Now, one of the things about horse training. Horse training is all about repetition. But it's repetition with progress. So, if I take her up to that trailer, I need more and more each time I go. It's not, I, I will always reward, but I've always got to ask for that little bit more to get her to the next level. If I don't, guess what? I'm going to get stuck there and we're just going to go through this loop and loop and loop. So, stay with it. Have that thing, loop, what we're doing here. Remember our alignment? This is it. We're moving her over saying, there you go. That's where I need you to be.
Okay? Once she's there, move her over, stop her relaxing. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Give her a couple of seconds, and then ask for the step. And as you can see, up she goes. Now, she's doing her thing. She's checking everything out. Perfect. This is curiosity. Curiosity is everything. You can't get curiosity. It can only be given. And this is what you reward this behavior. If you can, get her to stand there. Come up and rub her while she's just standing there. Get her to stand there for a couple of seconds. Take her away, put her back. Take her away, put her back. Each time, what we're looking for here is not that we get all four feet, but that she gets a little bit more willingness to get the front feet up there. That she gets the front feet farther into the trailer. That she gets a look around. That she's doing all these kinds of things. So that we finally get to the point where she's starting to go, huh, well it's not so bad, I can do this. It's like, yes, we know you can. So let's get on here, let's do this. You are doing fine as far as the horse goes. Notice that my energy in there, I'm sitting there, I've got lean back, looking out the door, I'm not doing anything, she's not doing anything, she's got all the time in the world. When you get all pent up and you get this frustration thing going on, your body language is totally wrong. Horses are so much about body language and people are just not. We have to be so careful about what our energy reads, how we read, how do we come across, do I come across with this tension in my body, like I'm about to pounce on her, or am my shoulders dropped, am I relaxed, am I giving that, that thing, like, hey, you're doing awesome, reward that good behavior, work on the bad, exercise her until she says, okay, that's not going to work it out, this is good, but everything's nice, positive, we're moving forward, you can do this. Back and forth, back and forth. Notice that her head's coming down, she's starting to relax, she's going, huh, back to this again, back to this again. Well, yeah, because it's just about this. I want this thing to become so mundane and it's just something to do. Now, we've got to fix that alignment. She's starting to do that little thing where I push my nose. It's like kids, right? They know what needs to be done, but they're not going to just do it just because you asked. You're going to sometimes have to support and say, yes, you are going to do it. And guess what they do? They will. If you don't push to and support what they need to do, do you think they're just going to do it because it's, they feel like, no, they're not. They're not going to do it. It's the exact same thing with the horse. As you can see, she's jumping in and out with the front legs. Fantastic. What more can you ask for? I mean, could we end at this? Most certainly. Could we come back the next day? We could. But it's not necessary. This horse is not stressed. She's not sweated out. She's not banging her head off the walls. She is calm, relaxed, in the right place, in the right mindset. Why not keep going? She's doing fine. We're into this right now for about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe even an hour and 20. All right? She's doing fine. You look at that girl. She's not sweating. I'm in a t-shirt. It's warm this day. There's a good breeze blowing. Right? Get that butt over again. Remember, don't turn that butt, Denny. Push her forward. Say, here we go. Get her alignment. It's really, really important, that alignment thing. Look at that. Did you see that back foot move there? All right. What she's saying is, I thought about, whew, and I'm standing there with a great big smile on my face. I want thank you. That's all I can ask for. All I can ask for is try. I will reward try any day of the week. I won't reward is attitude. And this girl's not giving me attitude at this particular point in time. She's actually trying very, very hard to do what I ask. So we're going to stick with her. Now, this there, as she was born and bred on, on a range, and out in Alberta, when you're on a range, I mean, she probably didn't even see people until she was two. And if she did, she probably had no contact with them. What? So when she was taken, and this was about a year ago, this, the, the good lady that we let us use this girl uh, got her. She was probably three years old. Here she's four. And she, I guess she'd only been on the trailer once before this. And that was, she was, you know, ran onto the horse trailer. It wasn't pretty and it wasn't relaxed. And when she got off, she was just a, you know, vibrating bag of blah, bones there. So what we want to do here is, is we want to make this a more positive. Now, what I'm doing is I'm walking into her and saying, hey, if I walk towards you, you move off. And what she's doing is trying to go forward. Now, go forward, take that lead, stop that forward momentum. Saying, don't. And when you look, oh, look at that back leg trying to get up here. Just broke at the ankle. Reward that behavior. Quick, 
really quickly release that pressure. Don't do anything. I'm in there, I'm sitting down on my haunches, staring at it, going, hey, check it all out. I got some hay in there, no grain. I do not want my horse doing things because he thinks it's going to get food or a treat for it. I want my horse to do things because I asked. I might not always have a treat in my pocket. I will always be able to ask my horse wherever I go because if I'm there, I can ask. So I have no intention of going everywhere in the world with my horse with a pocket full of grain. Ain't going to happen. So we don't reward our horses with food. We reward our horses with release. And it's a heck of a lot more uh, convenient and a heck of a lot easier down the road. So here's our girl, you can see the feet moving even more. So at this particular point in time, we started off with just the front feet in the door. Walked her off, brought her back. Then the feet, feet had come into the, into the trailer again, she's six inches in, then she's a foot in. Now she's got her whole chest and body in, just her back feet are hanging outside the trailer. It's a progressive thing, you have to start someplace and you have to move forward. And she's doing great, I think she's doing fantastic. This is a lot. You gotta think. I would have taken a horse like this and I would have worked this horse for probably a month, maybe even two, before I even worried about the trailer. She needed to get more control, she needed to get more relaxation, she needed to to get uh, to understand um, the rules, boundaries. Don't walk on me, don't do this, don't do that. That's good. When I move, you move. When I stop, you stop. If I go backwards, you go backwards. All these kind of things. If you can do all that, then this trail loading and 90% of everything else out there becomes so simple, so easy. But what a lot of people just don't know is how to ask for a horse. Well, the way to ask a horse, that's more important. It's not what we ask for a horse, it's how we ask it. And as you can see, she's, I'm gonna, no you're not, relax. So she's gonna give me that last little, it's kinda like the light bulb, just before it burns out, it's gonna burn the brightest. Well, here she is, just before she gets on, she's gonna, Give me that last little, I don't want to do this. Well, guess what? I don't really care what you want to do. I, this is what I want to do. And there's our girl when she walks onto our trailer. Look at that. She is, by the time she got on, the stress is all gone. She's in there, she's eating the hay. One of the things you always want to remember, now that we've got our horse onto the trailer, is you're going to wait a little bit, wait for that relaxation, and you're going to walk her back off the trailer, and then back onto the trailer. Wait, and then off. Remember, what we want to do is we want to reward the behavior that we want. So, if she wants, if our horse goes onto the trailer and is all nervous and is moving his feet, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand there with dropped shoulders, with very relaxed, and say, you relax. And as soon as my horse drops her head, relaxes her shoulders, I'm going to walk her off the trailer. What am I teaching her? I am teaching her, her that if you want to get off the horse trailer, you need to relax. So learn behavior. So, once you've got your horse on the horse trailer, do not slam the door shut. Walk your horse on and off the trailer until she starts to just relax and then this just becomes something to do. In closing, one of the things that we want to get across here, folks, is that it's not what you ask, it's how you ask. It's that release teaches. Energy is everything. Staying positive, don't get mad, don't get frustrated. All these different things makes the difference. Don't worry about the trailer if you can't get the horse under control. Get the horse under control, then introduce the trailer. If you do that, then you're gonna have much greater success than you would if you just screw around and try and pull, push, prod, poke, and get your horse inside. If the horse does what you ask, the trailer is a non-issue. Same thing as rivers or anything else you might want to go over, in, under, or through. These are the things that's going to make it so that you have a better horse than you've got now.